Hello, I'm Carol Churchill. I'm here on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce. I work at Exelon at the uh, LNG facility in Everett. I'm here with Rosemary Hughes, also from the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, and Sean Middleton is our guest. Sean is from Mystic Valley Elder Services. Correct. Did I say that right? You did. Okay. And um, for those of you who have watched Chamber Chatter before, um, we appreciate the viewership. And um, we also had um, a brief time when we did not air at all. Right, so, right. Um, actually, it's more than a brief time. It's been quite a long it's time. It's been a while, but we're just so happy to be back. We are we? happy yeah. to be back. And we're happy <laughs> to be here with Sean, yeah. who's going to tell us uh, a little bit about Mystic Valley Elder Services. So, Rosemary, do you want to start with the questioning? Sure, Sean. I know um, there are many, many people who use your services mm -hmm. or have a lot of questions about it. And this, uh, I, it's very interesting what you have to offer. And you have a great website, and which you can talk about after. But um, I, we want to know exactly what you do. Wh it, a little condensed uh, version of sure. what you know, I can an give overview. you an overview of yeah, Mystic that would Valley be great. Elder Services. So, um, first of all, I want to thank you for having me here. I appreciate sure. it. Thanks for coming um, up. To talk about Mystic Valley Elder Services. Um, so, we are a nonprofit organization and we were founded in um, 1975, so we have been around. We're located in Malden. Now, when I say we're located in Malden, we're a community outreach agency. Nice. So we do have 11 communities, which I will talk about um, shortly, that we cover uh, with our services. So we um, take care of older adults, and those are older adults, 60 or over. We also take care of um, individuals with disabilities and also the caregivers mm -hmm. that are caring for these older adults and the, and the people with disabilities. Um, we have about 350 employees. We wow. have a great volunteer program, 400 plus volunteers mm -hmm. um, that help us out. And we serve about um, 800, um, um, excuse me, 8,500 um, older adults a month. That's wow. amazing. That is. It is. That is yeah. Amazing. That's very encouraging to hear, too, because it so is. many and people fall into this category now. And, absolutely. And, need, and there's different variations of what kind of help. That correct. You, correct. Yeah. Okay. That, that's really great. Is there an income limit to people getting help, or is there a cost? factor to it? Um, there isn't. Um, there is this misconception that Mystic Valley Elder yeah. Services only um, serves or takes care of those with low income bracket in the low income brackets. That is not true. We take care of anybody in any so income so. brackets. Um, in terms of cost, um, typically the cost is no cost to low cost. However, there is a sliding scale and that's dependent on um, the income of the individual, the program that they are um, hoping to get involved with, um, any perhaps insurance um, incentives that might be part of that. Um, but I'd like to say that you know a lot of them are at no cost or at a low cost. Mm -hmm. So you take a lot of the insurance, the the Medicare, 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 and Medicaid, Correct. and and the supplemental insurances and things like that. Correct. Okay. Correct. Mm. And when mm. you talk about these services, what are you talking about exactly? Um, what services do you provide? So we provide a variety of services. Um, our core services are is our home care program, mm. and that home care program is. Um, you know, when individuals from Mystic Valley Elder Services that we contract with go out to our clients or our consumers, as we call them, and um, do perhaps housekeeping, perhaps mm. help organize um, the individual. Um, they might be a home health aide. Um, they might be doing laundry services. Um, we also provide, um, you know, mental health services through our home care program. Um, so we have a variety of programs that fall under the home care program. Okay. And then um, another robust, and uh, you know, a lot of people know us for our Meals on Wheels program. Yes. So we have a robust nutrition, nutritional services um, department. So along with the Meals on Wheels program, which I can talk about, um, we also offer, um, you know, meals at um, some of our um, Council on Aging sites 
some of them at our supporting supportive housing sites as well mm -hmm. so we deliver those to the sites along with our Meals on Wheels which we you know deliver every day um, to them. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of our Meals on Wheels um, I looked at our latest stats for August and we delivered 60,000 meals oh during that's the month amazing. of August. That's wow. amazing. That um, is amazing. Within the, those 11 communities. Within those 11 communities. Wow. And um, not only do we provide the nutritional meals that they need, we provide a variety of meals as well. We've got it into um, getting to the cultural mm -hmm. um, aspects of mm -hmm. the meals, such as Portuguese meals, such as oh, Asian wow. meals. So now there's a variety of meals offered to people if they want those. Um, Plus people on restricted diets. Like, correct. Uh, so it, we have that, cardio, that's all, we yeah. have low salt, et cetera, diabetes. Wow. So we take so. into any of their, um, their diseases they may have or the illnesses that they might have. Hmm. Um, and um, along with the males, uh, you know, I just want to emphasize that, you know, we hear a lot about that people are isolated, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, and some of these individuals are homebound. So uh, males on males drivers, um, you know, who are extremely great at their jobs, extremely friendly, they might be the only people that our consumers that see that day. So it's a great oh. way of, you know, saying hello, having mm -hmm. a conversation, having that, you know, personal touch with another human being. So, you know, along with the males, there is that, um, you know, That's nice. it, yeah. interconnection between the driver yeah. and the client. Mm. Yeah. That's great. You know, sometimes I think people hesitate. They don't know how to get started or something. Someone might need a help with something, and they might think it's not important enough to reach out. And um, I, from looking at your website and all, I'm reading more about your um, agency, um, I, it says that the first thing is call us. Yes. And calling and you will get a person and not a machine. Correct. And that's such oh, a plus. Yes. No matter that what field you're in, that's yeah. a big plus. And someone will talk, you explain your situation no matter what it is, and they will give you a plan. They will work out a plan Correct. with you. And I think that's so important for people to know because sometimes mm -hmm. they're just reluctant. They don't know much about, you know, mm -hmm. what it has to offer or will I be able to afford it or all these questions they have that they don't understand unless they really talk to somebody about sure. it. So. Yeah, so um, we like mm -hmm. to um, you know, be proud of that, that you know, when yeah. you call, you do get a human you get a being. Person. Um, and through our information and referral department, mm -hmm. that's usually where you begin. Um, they go over, um, you know, first of all, they help you with perhaps the questions you may not know to ask. So in yeah. the conversation yeah. that they have with the consumer, they perhaps ask what they're looking for and they kind of generate a conversation as to what they're, because sometimes they call not knowing what they're looking for. So okay. along with the okay. questions and the answers, you know, our information referral specialists can provide that. Um, and it can be any, anything from, um, you know, asking if there's a community resource available in the community and our information referral specialist will tell them that. Mm -hmm. So that could be, you know, the end of the conversation, if you will. So we do help out. It's not just um, we give advice, we give information. So we do, you know, try to get them, um, you know, services and programs, but it's also an information, um, you know, department that can give any information. If they're outside of our 11 communities and they're calling for services, we will obviously offer them to one of our sister agencies, um, one of our elder services in, in the other communities, and um, tell them to call them for the services. Okay, so I can call you and say, I need, I need a home care, um, I just had an operation, and I can't take care of myself, or I can call and say, you know, it can be op more open-ended. I can call and say, I have a, a, a father who is, is, here's his situation, what services can you provide him to make life a little easier for Correct. him? Correct. So it can be open-ended, or it can be calling for a specific service. Correct. Okay. And again, that's where it comes up, like, 
what is my real question? You know, okay, what am I yeah. looking for? Yeah. Right. So yeah. our um, people on the other end will help you. We also have option counselors who would go out and meet with okay. the individuals and talk more about what their needs are. And, and as you said, develop a care plan. Okay. Um, we call sometimes our care managers care advisors okay. because they develop a plan um, it set individually for that oh, senior. Plan. Correct. So okay. it's not one, one size fits all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we see what their needs are, what, their, what um, services they might want, and develop the care plan around that and around, you know, what um, the individual is looking for as well. So I have to say we always, you know, answer the phone. We always help yeah. people. We always have an answer for people mm -hmm. um, and, you know, try to help them in any way that we can. I noticed, too, that you also provide some help for caregivers. Correct. And that's that's such a big thing. Is. It you is. You know, the, the elderly or the patient, and when they say patient, but your client is being taken care of according to their needs, mm -hmm. but lots of times yep. the care need, giver needs some kind of uh, TLC or whatever it yes, is they too, do. because of what they do mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm sure that's a very tough job to be in. It is and um, I think most caregivers don't look at themselves as caregivers and no. you know no. it, it's you see someone has to tell them you are a caregiver you mm -hmm. definitely you, know, you, you have yeah. needs too. Exactly you have, you needs. have needs too. Yeah. So we um, do offer um, caregiver programs at Mystic Valley. There are available out in the community um, groups or support groups uh, through our 11 mm -hmm. communities, but we mm -hmm. also offer support groups at Mystic Valley where caregivers can come in, um, you know, once a month and talk about what is going on in their lives. Um, and I was recently at a caregiver support group, and it was amazing the. Um, you know, when you think of caregivers, at least I, I do, you think of um, more, um, you know, older people, older adults. However, there was, you know, younger people there mm. with children right. in high school right. and college who unfortunately a loved one is mm -hmm. going through Alzheimer's or dementia mm -hmm. that they need to take care of. Yeah. Um, so we provide one-on-one uh, -on -one peer counseling with the caregiver. Mm -hmm. So again, going back to that care plan, we also develop a plan for our caregivers to help them care for their loved one, but also care for themselves. That's yeah. what they right. need to do is yeah. also think of their selves. So it could be, you know, the possibility of um, adult daycare that their mm -hmm. loved one could go into mm -hmm. and that that would give um, the caregiver a break um, yeah. and, yeah, and, very important. and get to do, you know, what they need to do or what they want to do, you know, go see a movie at night, you know, perhaps a we can provide them with a companion to stay mm -hmm. with, um, yeah. to stay with Very their nice. loved one. Um, they also have family help as well, but we try to, um, you know, through the support groups as well. And there's also peer to peer, so the caregivers can talk to each other. They can give That's advice great. to each other what yeah. works for them. Um, you know, one example was that a gentleman, um, his, his wife was sleeping, you know, on the first floor and he was up on the second floor and he was afraid, oh, he wouldn't hear her. Mm -hmm. so, so one of the advices that came out of um, a great advice was using a baby monitor mm. so that oh, he yeah. could see, yeah. sleep more soundly and then if anything mm -hmm. was stirring down yeah. with his wife, he could either see it or hear it. So that was, you know, a, a great bit of advice because that hel helped him sleep. Um, better mm. knowing that he could hear if something if she was up or, or needed yeah. help mm. Mm. and um, before I forget to ask what what are the 11 communities that you serve okay so the 11 communities we serve um, a North Reading mm -hmm. Reading Wakefield Stoneham Medford Malden Melrose um, Everett Chelsea Revere mm, so and it's Winthrop awful. Yeah. So That's from Winthrop up to area. North Reading, it's a it's yeah. a skinny little, okay. you yeah. know, yeah. Okay. Um, but it's you know most of them are in our Mystic Valley, yeah. um, a, a geographical areas they call it the Mystic mm -hmm. Valley area, you know right in Malden we're right on the Mystic Valley, I <laughs> mean um, on the right on the Mystic River. Okay. Are there certain hours uh, when your workers or your volunteers or those who work for you um, have like if somebody needed someone to stay like for overnight care or something like that? 
Is that a whole different? Um, that would be services that um, we would contract with. Mm -hmm. um, so we, um, you know, our care managers do not provide those services. We contract with home care services, VNA services. Um, we work with other partners such as, um, you know, home care. Um, housekeeping services. So those services that we so, provide yeah. are contractual. Yeah. Um, so the care manager does, you know, make sure that whatever their needs are, those needs are met, whether it be during the day or hopefully getting someone, you know, throughout the nighttime that might need to be there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been quite interesting, and I'm sure we could talk forever about all yes. these things because it is. And I know that you're always looking for volunteers as well, right? Yeah, we always yeah. looking for volunteers. Yeah. Um, many we have different things. We have a money management program that our volunteers they train mm -hmm. volunteers. Mm -hmm. These money management volunteers help older adults with their finances. Um, we also have um, Shine volunteers. Now Shine is. Um, a program, a state program that helps individuals go through their insurance um, needs. Mm -hmm. And um, as we're coming into October, that's, you know, when um, okay. it all starts up the again. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, we also have a great program um, bringing multi-generations together. It's called the Reading Partners Program. And that is where an older adult volunteer goes into the school systems mm -hmm. and reads um, to a student who is K oh. through three and helps them um, well, if they're having difficulties yeah. with reading. That's wonderful. And it's a great, you know, seeing the older generation mm -hmm. with the younger generation, you know, getting along so well and helping each other. Um, maybe you'd like to tell us what your website is and how, how somebody could reach you, how sure. they could look you up. And, and again, I, ju I just want to say, you know, call us. I, that might yeah, be a tagline, right, call us. Right. People don't think of us until, unfortunately, an emergency arises, but I, I want us to to be top of mind thinking in the future as to if you're a caregiver, if you are, um, you know, someone who may be looking at your um, grandparents or your mother or your aunt, that perhaps in the future she or he might be looking for some help. Yeah. So please think of us then as well. Keep us top of mind. Definitely. Um, so our so website number. address right. is mves.org and our phone number is 781 Three two four seven seven zero five, and again, as you said, you always get an individual who will answer the phone. Okay, great. <laughs> That's great. We thank you so much thank for coming for on. It, it, I learned a lot myself, and um, it's wonderful to know that there is something out there. You always think of, gee, you know, what if I need this or that or the other, and and you don't know where to turn. Correct. correct. But just the fact that if more people could hear you, you do a great presentation. I have to say, oh, thank so you. you can tell you really love what you do. I do. And it's so nice for people to hear that the community should know about things Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. And that's okay. our, our goal is to spread the good word of us. Um, you know, get create more awareness in our communities. Um, you know, work with the media to get more stories out there, our local yeah. newspapers, so that people yeah. are aware of us um, and know about us. And in terms of the um, Council on Aging's, we are partners with them. We work collaboratively to, with them. Okay. They refer a lot of their seniors to us who they know might need our services. Okay. So the 11 communities that, you know, have the um, Council on Aging's or the senior centers, we work with them mm -hmm. very closely um, in partners. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think ladies. this was a great segment. Right, Carol? Oh, yes, okay. definitely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hello. We're here for another segment of Chamber Chatter. I'm here with Rosemary Hughes, my co host. Um, we are both, I'm Carol Churchill. Uh, we are both from the Everett Chamber of Commerce um, Board of Directors. I'm also with Exelon, and I work at the LNG facility here in Everett. And our special guest today is Francois Jean Inard, and uh, he has a business called Magic Cup of Joe, and he's going to tell us about this great product um, that he is marketing, and uh, it's just a it's just a wonderful idea. So, uh, Francois, would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Thank you, thank you. It is first. Um, I, must, I must add, it's a great pleasure and honor to be with you both, ladies. And you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
The Magic Cup of Joe, it's an idea that came up while I was, while I was in Haiti. Mm -hmm. And I, w I was having a conversation with my lady friend who was on the other side of the border. And we wanted to offer a gift that is unique to Valentine lovers. I would say to lovers. Mm -hmm. But we wanted them to celebrate in a different way. Something different, something new. Or something that was underutilized. Not roses. And candy. Not roses, not candy, <laughs> yeah. not Good. chocolate, right. not right. Okay. That'd that'd be be right. Okay. And then she sent me, she told me the magic, the magic mug. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, are, are you a magician now? <laughs> she sent me a picture. Uh -huh. I didn't get it. Then I she said, hang on, I'm going to send you a video. Okay. When she sent the video, it clicked. I said, wow, that was science and technology because it comes all dark, as you can see. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as soon yeah, as you... It looks like a black mug with a yes. white, with the white in in inside. interior. Yeah. Yeah. But soon as you pour hot liquid in it, whether coffee, tea, or even water, mm -hmm. then it slowly starts to change into mm -hmm. the picture that you want on it. Oh, okay. And, and it does work because I've seen this work. You're Thank absolutely you. right. It does work and it, it's amazing and it's fun and it's very practical. Yes. Yeah. And this isn't just for Valentine's Day, though. This is for companies. Anything. For people, for any kind of occasion, correct? Yes. Okay. Because as we started to brainstorm, one thing we realized was this is something that someone should use also to celebrate themselves. Because mm -hmm. we tend to give gifts, mm -hmm. but we don't give to ourselves. Okay. We don't tend to say, I just got a promotion or uh, I just passed a class that was very challenging. A motto, something I could do it one, and then have that as a reminder to celebrate that accomplishment. Okay. So. Well, we know you're very innovative, okay. uh, and we've had some conversation with you before the program started. And what it, what I was re uh, really interested in is when you were in Haiti and, and you were in, and then you did some work in in Thailand also, right? Yes. In marketing and communications. Yes. And at present, you're, you're studying at Harvard right now in that same field? Yes. Marketing and communications. And this is something that um, that you took on because of the, the way you introduced it, of, of the concept of your girlfriend and the Valentine's. I like that part. But anyway, you've developed quite a business. And, and this is a great idea. And it's something that people really have to see and at, at some point we're going to see a video of of how this works right yes ma'am yeah and what is your website that people can go and see the mugs um, see how much they cost that type of thing my my on my website mm -hmm. which is my initials okay. uh, fj okay and then e n a r d so f j a n o d okay dot com mm -hmm. And then once you click, you go there and you click on my magic mug, you will see at the beginning. And okay. then you'll see more details, pictures, and how you can work with it either for, if you want to raise a awareness about the cause. Mm -hmm. we, love, we love that because we want it to remain a community company. Okay. And by community, what I mean is when you, when you want it, we want the exact a visual that you have in mind. We don't want to simply put a picture or put a logo, put anything on it like this, like that. Mm -hmm. We want to work with you, send you the proof. No, I don't like that. Change this. We are not going to get tired. Okay. We can do, do back and forth as much as 10, 20 times until you f see that this is that what you like and then we make the magic and deliver it to you. So I don't have to be a designer. I can come to you with an idea and you can work with me to do the perfect, the perfect image that, that, that I want. To do the magical image that to you want. To do the magical Magic. image. Magic, okay. I know. So even um, any kind of a design or whatever yes. that we send to you. Do you do designs yourself for this? I, I've been doing design since I was a kid. However, mm -hmm. my partner, Ralph, mm -hmm. he's, the, he's the magician when it comes to oh, it. Okay. Right. I, I can simply do it, something very simple, but when it comes to the, I would say the, I wouldn't say complex. The magical one aspects mm -hmm. that's his field. Okay. So right. I can so I can dabble. I dabble, but yeah. he's the expert okay. for it. Okay. Yeah. And you live in Everett. Yes, ma'am. I do. Okay. And how long have you lived here? Since it's been over a little over a year. In okay. June 2018, right. I arrived here. Okay. Well, we welcome you. Thank you. And I love the city for the simple fact that it is a small town, 
However, it has all the access of big cities. Mm -hmm. I don't have to right. go to Boston. I don't have to go to Cambridge for mm -hmm. anything. Everything I find it right here. And with the That's casino. That's true. Yeah. And I remember I was reading in a, an interview from the mayor. Mm -hmm. The mayor said there are more coming. Mm -hmm. There are more buildings. There are more well, hotels are coming. It's and yeah. to me, this is happy. This is magical news for everyone. And I, I, I understand from, um, from speaking with owners of small businesses that the city is very welcoming, the mayor's office is very easy to work with, and, um, and it's another good thing. It's, it's I, that very fact, I think, has brought a lot of uh, small businesses to the, has, to the city, does. and it really is growing mm -hmm. in that respect. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, Rosemary? I do. Well, I do because I have a personal stake in this. I've lived in Everett all my life, almost in the same house all my life. It was my grandmother's house since the 1920s. Now, I wasn't around then, but I, and then when I, 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 my family, I grew up here. Um, I raised my husband and I, we raised our children here, all in the same house. And people would always say, why don't you move all the beautiful suburbs, communities, everything else? But we liked living in this community. This, this is, is where we wanted community. to raise our family. Yeah. And um, so it's nice to hear somebody, you know, come to this city and feel that way and that fact that you want to do business here is is really a plus it is. and while we were talking I had a thought because I do have one of these mugs um, it's it's a great gift for anybody uh, even for children you know for breakfast drink your milk this is what you drink, and for them to sit there and pour a hot drink cocoa or, or whatever it is in that a coffee and all of a sudden soup yeah. and then as they're having it, they'll be more apt to have it because they're going to watch this picture grow around the mug. Yes. I think it's fascinating. It's probably harder to describe than to see, yes. but your video will show how it how, how, how it works. It's amazing. This to yeah. The one. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm I'm glad that you mentioned for kids. We can even have the number lessons: one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, four, five. Oh, that's ah. right. And I was thinking earlier, I owe you one with the picture of your house, if you can have it from the time of your mother. Wow. Through the years, you can have it. Oh, wow. And wow. somebody was saying um, that was here earlier that um, they had a picture of, uh, it was, a, it was a, uh, a business that they were building an addition on to. So they had the, the business on the mug, and then when it got hot, you saw the addition come on. Yes. So that's another mm -hmm. another thing that um, the business community could could do. Yeah, right. And I, I, yeah. I would love that. Mm -hmm. I, I look forward to that. Uh, the, every time, I, every time I share it with someone, mm -hmm. they always share ideas back. Uh -huh. I feel like this this should I should open it, make it public now. Mm -hmm. And every time you give an idea, and that's your share. I know. Because yeah. there are so many. It just builds and builds. It and builds, builds and builds yes. and builds. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I wanted to, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. community based. This business, like they would have, let's say, the concept, say mm -hmm. you're building a house or the casino, how earlier. Yeah. They after had the before concept, and after. And I before thought and of after. That, yeah. mm -hmm. Like yeah. as it goes. Yeah. So it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the possibilities. I'm happy that I'm in Everett and how how much effort is to grow is going to grow and I would say magically grow over the next few months and years. And your business right. can grow with the city. And definitely. Excellent. Def yeah, definitely. So and what what are your, you know, thoughts about um, how 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 do you promote your business? Word of mouth. Uh-huh. Regardless of the power of the internet, mm -hmm. word of mouth is still key is still the best marketing tool marketing nice. strategy mm -hmm. and more mm -hmm. and this is how we go the fact that we take the time to go back and forth for you to be happy about it mm -hmm. we hope that you are going to share with your friends mm -hmm. and when you share with your friends your friends will be interested your family will be interested mm -hmm. because as we are small right now we have a great marketing strategy for billboards, all those magic, all those gadgets, Super Bowl commercial, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, the community approach, the word of mouth is where we are starting and this is how it's going to stay. Mm -hmm. All those add-on will be, will be down the road, but word of mouth. Every single mug, every single cup, mm -hmm. we make sure you are happy about it. Mm 
Okay. We make sure it's connected to your emotions. It's connected to exactly what you wanted. And right. then w we hope that you won't be shy. Mm -hmm. Even if you are shy, you will be glad to share it with the people around you that you love and you want to know about it. That's great. I love the name, a Magic Cup of Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. That tells it all. Yes. Yes. You know? It does. It, yeah. And um, th that's really, it's great. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? On I'm looking forward to going with the com uh, community and I want to thank the mayor because the reason I want to thank the mayor is because the casino is a big factor in the, gro in the growth of the city. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I, I, when I read these interviews, when I read articles that, it men that mentions him, mm -hmm. and I see the direction where he's heading with the city, where he's taking the city, I am glad I'm happy to be a resident of mm. uh, Everett. You came here at the right time. Yeah. I, I will even say that I came even late. Yeah. And I'm happy to be around. It, that's nice to hear because we've, I've seen Everett evolve always into, you know, a nice little town and this and that. All the changes over the years, complete, especially being in the same neighborhood. But then all the things that are happening now that are so exciting, it's so great to be yeah. part of this community. Yes. And um, it w one of the things I'm thinking of, as you said, it was just the involvement of the um, industrial area and to see this beautiful casino and resort rise out of all this stuff around it that people said, oh, it could never be done. So that's something you, have to, you must use as a philosophy too. Never say it can never be done, right? I'm glad you mentioned it. That would be a great idea for the cop before yes. and after. Last night I was playing at the casino and I don't remember there was a host what he asked me and I said, well, every time I walk into this building, I feel like a $3 billion man. <laughs> because yeah. it's nice in there and as you mentioned, they say, I'm, I'm not, I don't recall who said it, it's always impossible until it's done. Mm -hmm. So. That's why I always say, no one can understand nor comprehend your vision but yourself. So you have to be willing to push through, even when you don't have the immediate support. If you have mm -hmm. to reward your vision, if you mm -hmm. have to reshape it, reshape it, pay attention to what the people don't want about it, and then we bring it back, we innovate it to get it too. Otherwise, it's going to stay impossible. Yeah. And then the next guy or the next lady is going to come and do it and then you will be looking at, mm -hmm. oh, that was my idea. No, it's no longer an idea <laughs> because you let it go. You, uh, you didn't push well, An idea isn't, isn't much until you do something with it. Yes, well, ma'am. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Um, Rosemary, Yes, thank we you. enjoyed your presentation very much. And you. you seem to have a great future ahead of you with all that you've, you're doing. It's, uh, you're still, you're being a student and being a businessman and you've been kind of an international figure too because you have your affiliations in Haiti and you, I know you did some work in Thailand too on marketing and all. So you, you already, for a young man, have a great background. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm sure you will be very successful in this endeavor also. Thank you, thank you. Well. Thank you, I, I appreciate you the it. Best. And thank you to the chamber as a proud member, a happy member. I'd say I have not, I, remember, I recall when I was in, in the U.S. Army uh, Reserve Officer Training Corps. Mm -hmm. The motto was, I guess the mission was, every cadet is a recruiter. And I plan on applying that same thing Good. with the chamber. Good, chamber's uh, Because glad to hear that. I'm very happy to be a member. Okay, well thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so very much, much ladies. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you again. Good.